This is a Nikon Z30. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to update and upgrade the firmware on your Z series Nikon camera. You're gonna need the camera, a blank SD card, as well as some way to plug that SD card into your computer. So if you have an SD card reader uh, built into your computer, great, I don't. So I'm gonna be using an adapter that allows me to plug in the SD card and then it turns it into USB. On your computer, the first thing you need to do is head over to the Nikon website. So for me, it's NikonUSA.com. And at the top here, we're gonna select support. And then from there, we're gonna scroll down and where it says browse by topic here, we're gonna select cameras. And then I'm going to select firmware right here on the right hand side under the resources section. From here, you're gonna to wanna to choose the camera that you have. So in this case, I have the Nikon Z30. So I'm gonna select mirrorless cameras, Z series, and then Z30, which is right here at the top. Now this will work for any of the Z cameras, uh, more or less the exact same way as how we're doing this in the video, despite me having a Z30. So if you had a different camera, as long as it's in the Z series, you would be able to follow this video basically do the exact same thing. Um, just make sure that you're selecting the correct camera. From there, I'm gonna select firmware. And then as you can see here, we have Z30 version 1.10, and it was released May 10th, 2023. Before we start this process, you wanna make sure that the camera needs the update. So we verified on the computer that we have version 1.110 available. You want to go on your camera and we're going to go all the way down to the wrench and then we're going to go over and it's all the way at the bottom. So if it looks like this on your screen, just press up and it will take you to firmware version and you can see I'm on 1.00. So I need to update the firmware on my camera. You want to make sure you check this before you actually attempt to update the firmware. So you can click view download page and then depending on the platform you're on, it's going to give you some instructions. So I'm on Mac OS and I'm going to scroll down, select I accept and I'm going to click download. Once the file has been downloaded, you can go ahead and take your SD card and SD card reader and you can go ahead and plug that into your computer. Once you've inserted your SD card, you can go ahead and open it up and you wanna make sure that you're looking at the root directory so you're not actually inside of a folder. So you should be able to see these two folders here. And then you're going to just double click on the file to open it, at least on Mac if you have a DMG file and it's going to give you this Z30 update folder. So we wanna open that and within there, there's this bin file. We wanna take that bin file and we wanna drag it onto the SD card in the root directory, which just means that we're gonna put it not in a folder. So you wanna make sure that you didn't click on this, you didn't click on this, that you're, you're just putting it on the SD card, not inside of any other folder. From there, we can go ahead and eject our SD card and put the SD card in the camera. Turn the camera back on, hit menu, and we should be right back on the firmware version. So we can select firmware, and then it's going to give us some options here. So we're gonna scroll down to update, and we're gonna press okay on update. It's gonna ask us if we're sure, do we wanna update from version 1.0 to 1.110. Gonna press up to highlight yes, and we're gonna press okay. It's gonna give us some warnings while it's updating. And once this is complete, we will be back. Okay, and the update is completed. So now we wanna just turn our camera off. 
we want to remove that SD card. And then we can power our camera back on. We're going to press the menu button. And then we're going to go back to firmware version, select OK, and verify that the version is now updated to, in our case, 1.10. And as you can see, the update was successful. The last thing that we need to do is we need to take our SD card out of our camera now that the update is complete and we need to make sure that we put it back in our PC and we're gonna delete the bin file that we use to update the camera off of the SD card. Once we've done that, you can go ahead and put the SD card back in your camera and you should be all set. And that about does it for this one. Let me know down in the comments if you guys had any issues with this process or if you'd like me to answer any questions about doing this. Uh, in general, and let me know what kind of camera you guys are using, whether it's the Z30, the Z50, so on and so forth, and how well you like that camera. Until next time, see you.